Roy, last week Brock pushed you for a good portion of 30 minutes of that game before you were able to pull away late. What does it mean to see your team respond late in the game like that? Uh, it's, it's, it's always a good thing, right? We, we, we got tested. Uh, Jamal didn't play. He got hurt. Uh, I thought Adika was spectacular down the stretch. Uh, the guys didn't really stop. Their effort was pretty uh, sustained throughout the whole game. Um, you know, and I thought eventually we just kind of pulled away, which was nice to see. Ryerson is undefeated in 2015, but as a coach, that probably doesn't mean that necessarily everything's going perfectly. Um, do you feel like your team is playing its best basketball as we head into the final weeks of the regular season? Uh, two things. One, I mean, we don't measure seasons in years, so it's for us the way we evaluate things are very different. So being undefeated in 2015 really means nothing. Um, uh, I'm pleased with the way we're playing, but we've got to find ways to get better because we know that we're, you know, a, a long ways away from having a chance to beat the top teams in the country. So we're still looking at ways to improving on a, on a daily basis, on a weekly basis, and hopefully we can continue, continue to perform well when the, when the game starts. And lastly, with Lakehead currently holding a playoff position, Saturday's game will be important in terms of the RPI rankings. The Thunder Rolls have won their past three games. What are the keys to your game to halt that streak? Uh, you know, it's a quality team with a, with a very good young coach. They're going to be very tough. They'll defend. I mean, for us, it's just going to be able to stick to what we do and really be uh, very, very good on the defensive end and on the class.